all know the music. We all know the voice. His game plans contained a minimum of simple plays executed with a maximum of effort. Now meet the man behind the entire operation, Ed Sable, a former overcoat salesman who started NFL Films back in the 1960s. There's not a player that doesn't respect what NFL Films has done for the players and the game. Jim Lachey can remember the first time he saw himself through Ed Sable's eyes. I do because they showed my feet, then they rose up my body, and then they showed my eyes looking. I'm like, wow. Eddie George had a similar reaction when he saw what Sable's crew was able to capture of the great number 27. He, he creates poetry in motion. You know, that close up of you running and breaking off runs, and it's just the slow motion. It's, it's nothing less a dream come true for any athlete to have your highlights in NFL Films Library. High praise for a guy who, like Eddie George and Jim Lachey, once represented the Scarlet and Gray. Sable swam for Ohio State back in the mid 30s before he embarked on his legendary film career. A career that is responsible for the way we watch, not just football, but any sport on TV today. We take obviously slow motion and all that stuff for granted and people don't realize who started this, you know, who started the creative use of, you know, unique camera angles and reverse angles on replays and things like that. Who did that? Ed Sable and NFL Films was the company that started that. And tonight, Ed Sable took his rightful place in a place, you could argue, he helped build. I think that without Ed Sable, without his thumbprint on NFL football, you know, wouldn't it be uh, embraced the same way?